Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shawcraft One and my old barn door. And we are back working on our ring binder journal, working on pockets and decorating the journals. So, um, I know I told you yesterday, I had these two little, let me see if I can get them. Oh goodness. These two little pieces of the wire that we pulled out of our burlap, which now you can barely see because I've covered it over. <laughs> What was the point of that? But it, you can see a little bit of it, so it's okay. So I thought real quick I would show you what you can do with these. So I'm gonna scoot the journal out of the way and I'm gonna grab my little mat here and we're just gonna put a couple of little beads on this and I'll show you some different things that you can do with them. I know this is, you know, kind of different than working in a journal, but this won't take long. We'll do this real quick um, and then we'll move on and make some more pockets and start decorating our journal um so i just want to when when you have a piece this small you just want some little beads and so i kind of want some reds and some blues in here so i'm just going to go in into my little tub here and i'm just going to pick some beads oops well we dropped it i just want a couple of beads let's do a red and a white and here's another white. You know what? Let's just make it real, real simple. We're just going to put those three little beads on there. Okay. Now, what in the world would you do with that? I'll show you. I have some little safety pins. And I thought it would be super cute to put a little safety pin with beads on it on our denim pocket. Yes, I'm still adding to the denim pocket. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to take my um, rounded pliers. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word, and I'm just going to curl this at the end over here. Okay. And I'm just going to keep curling it. Can y'all even see what I'm doing? I'm going to zoom in for you so you can see a little better. Sorry about that. Okay. Now, once I get that first little curl done, what I want to do is I want to open my safety pin so I know which way it opens because this, it's hard to get safety pins on a bead. I mean, beads, <laughs> it is hard to get beads on a safety pin and get it through whatever you want it to go through. So, you can use, let me see if I can find it. My sweet friend Debbie had sent me these um, coilless safety pins. Let's see if I can get to them. So, they're safety pins without a coil, and then you can put beads on them and just run the beads all the way around. But if you don't have the coilless safety pins, that's a hard word to say. It's kind of like rural. <laughs> they were talking on the radio the other day about words that were hard to say. That's definitely one of them. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take, I'm going to open my loop just a little bit. So I'm going to put my little pliers back in here, and I'm going to open my loop just a little, just enough to give it a spot for my safety pin to go through. And then I'm going to hook that bottom coil of my safety pin through my wire okay so we're gonna go and then we're just gonna twist that back around so that it closes it up and you can actually close it over the safety pin if you want to and I think that's what I'll do I will close the safety pin into that little loop so that it's got a good hold to it and it doesn't have to be perfect this is we're not jewelry making you know now instead of putting it on this is a little hard to show let me just sit it down and see instead of putting it on this side and then you make it harder on yourself to be able to um, pin this to whatever you're going to pin it to we're going to wrap this around and put it on this side so i'm just going to wind whoops wind my wire this way a little and I'm just going to take it inside the open safety pin and I'm just going to I'm going to make 
make it dangle down as long as I want it to dangle down and that's you know a choice of yours however you want to do it but I kind of think that's big enough and so then I'm just gonna wind I'm just gonna pull my wire around that safety pin a few times and then that gives it a good hold and then you just kind of want to shape it up but you really are not going to shape it up until you get it pinned on whatever you want it pinned on to. Okay, so then, you know, if you've got a little piece of wire left over, you can cut it off. But I'm just going to try and, and flatten it on there and wind it back on there. Alright, so now you have something that looks like that. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and do this one real quick too. Just to kind of let you see it again. And I'm going to get some little bitty seed beads and do it with the seed beads, okay? And we're just going to put a few different colors on here. It doesn't matter what they look like. Just adding some color. There. I think that's enough. And I'm going to put the rest of my seed beads back in. My little tub there we're gonna grab another safety pin now you can do whatever size safety pin you want you can do bigger ones or smaller ones I'm just doing the small ones because um, well I like them okay so now I'm just gonna take my little pliers here and do my little coil Sometimes it's hard to get the end of the wire, especially when you're old and can't see like me. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to make that little loop. Put my safety pin into that little loop. And it might be easier to do this without your safety pin. I mean, the beads on there first. But I just did it that way. There we go, and now it's got a good hold on that safety pin. It's not going anywhere. And then we're going to take it around to the back. And just kind of curve it and loop it until we can get that onto our safety pin. And then just wind it around. I know it's a little bit hard to see because my finger is in the way. But you can kind of get the gist of it. All right, now I'm going to cut that little piece off. Let me grab my wire cutters. Uh-oh. I have wound my beads around the safety pin. Let me fix that. There we go. And then I'm just going to cut my little piece of wire off here. And I always try to cut downwards so that if it pops off, it's not going to hit me in the eye. Here we go. Okay, and get rid of that little piece. Alright. And th the wire is so thin, I mean, you can move it with your hands or whatever. You don't have to have special tools if you don't have them. And if you don't have these, then just wind it around your little coil here, too, instead of trying to do the loop. Whichever is easiest for you. Okay, so we have those done. And now we just want to add our little safety pins to our pocket. So we'll get rid of this. Get it out of the way. And pull our book forward. Let me just zoom back out real quick. And I think the gold one is the one that I want to use on my pocket. And I'm trying to decide where I want to put it. And I think I just want to put it right in here. If that is not too thick a material for my pen to go to, through. Okay. There we 
There we go. And then just hook my safety pin. Maybe. There we go. And then you can just fiddle with it, you know, and make it whatever shape you want it. But then there you have a cute little safety pin to adorn your pocket or your page. You can put this on a page tab. Like, you could put it on, on your little page tab here or whatever. But that's just an idea of something that you can do with those. So, um, so now we're going to go to our next page uh, where we planned to do a pocket. So I want to do a pocket here. Okay, where did my box go? go. Alright, so let's do a pocket here. And um, I want to do something simple on this pocket. So I have these wonderful little rooster cards that my sweet friend sent me. I was so excited when I got those. And um, I think I want to make it a pocket right here. No, I don't like the way this looks with what's in the background. So we're going to change plans because we can do that because it's our journal, right? All right, so let me decide what other pocket. Maybe we'll do a collage pocket here. So I have, let me find them. Here we go. Okay. Um. So I'm going to use one of my collage boards or a piece of one of my collage boards and we will make a pocket on this page. So I'm going to scoop my journal up and pull my page out so that I don't have the bulk of the journal that I'm dealing with and I can just work on the page. So I'm trying to decide. I think I might want it to be a full pocket. Let me see what's on the back side of this. Yeah, see, those are so cute. And I think I almost want to do a decorative cut on the edge of this page just to make it a little cuter. Let me find my scissors. Okay. I have these that I've had forever. They're just little, I think they're Fiskars. Maybe not. I don't really remember. I got these back in my scrapbooking days, which was years ago. So I'm just going to... Now, I always have to look because I'm a little backwards being left-handed. So I always have to figure out which way I need to cut to match up the shape. Okay. So I'll go this way. And it doesn't have to be perfectly straight, thank God, because I never cut anything perfectly straight. <laughs> Y'all know me, my crooked cutting. Okay. And I think I did go crooked for sure. Okay. But that works. <laughs> Whatever works. All right, so... Since this is going to be kind of, this is kind of a little bit heavy, so we're going to go ahead and put some hole reinforcers here. So I have these hole reinforcers that I think I'm just going to put them on one side. And the reason being is because I don't want to cover, well, I think I would have room. Okay, let's just put some on this side. And if you put them on both sides, you get a good reinforcement, so... Okay, and then these are pink, so I need some white ones that I can ink real quick. Oh, where did I put them? Okay, found them. So we're just going to ink these real quick. I guess I might as well go ahead and ink the whole page. Hang on. Okay. Sorry. I was shaking the table, so I paused the camera so I wouldn't shake you to death and make it easy. Okay. So now we're going to turn this over and add our little stickies here. You forget how long these ring binders take you. I've been working on these for several weeks now, actually. I'm probably into my third week working on them. <laughs> so they take quite a while to do. All right, so now I just want to kind of measure. Let 
I'm just going to kind of mark off a spot. If I can find a pen, here we go. So I'm going to kind of go here with it. And then I'm going to measure at the top. Not really measure, but just kind of eyeball it. And maybe we'll go like right here. And that way it gives us a little bit of room, you know, to put something in. Because it's going to be a sideways pocket. So now I'm just going to trim this down. Grab my trimmer. I have too much stuff on my desk. I'm running into everything. Okay. So I'm just going to line my mark up. Turn through that. And then line my mark up down here. Cut that. This can be used as a tag or on a tag or whatever. You can save your little pieces. Okay. And then I have this chicken wire. It's like it was a like a chicken wire ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby and I've had it forever. So we're going to play with this and see if we can use it somehow in our journals because I think it's super cute okay so it's wound in here now this stuff is pokey y'all so um, I didn't want to put it into a journal and poke somebody but I think if you put it on a pocket pull that little piece out see how they've got the back they've got that folded down so I think I'm just going to push that out just a little and maybe hook it this way like that and bring it all the way down this way. just want to flatten it up against this pocket. And then let me get my trimmers and we'll trim right here. My metal trimmers because I don't want to mess up my scissors trying to cut chicken wire. Okay. Alright, so if we cut about right here. Hmm. I might need some better trimmers. Hang on. Okay, I found my wire cutters. Let's see if these do any better. I'm going to slide that out. There we go. Okay. See how sharp those are? So y'all be really careful if you use this stuff because it hurts. <laughs> and then I'm going to put this back in here because it just kind of gives me, it helps me find the end. in there I don't normally do this if it's like just regular ribbon but with this chicken wire I just like to kind of keep it together so I don't get myself stuck <laughs> all right now I'm going to take this put it there press it down and then fold this over this way and I'm going to take these and see if I can pull down a little bit more on that now in order to keep you know if you just put this on here like this then you might catch your stuff on it when you're trying to put it in the pockets so I'm going to put just little strips of um, scrap paper on here so that it doesn't catch on whatever you're trying to put in the pockets. So I have some um, little white strips just, you know, that I've cut off the digitals or whatever 
So I'm just going to glue it down here. I'm just going to use wet glue so that it'll give me a little time and leeway to move it around. And I want to put quite a bit of glue because it's going to have to kind of go through that wire to be able to stick down good. All right, so we're going to just put this one here. And it doesn't have to be beautiful because this is the back side of the pocket. The main thing is just to get it stuck down to where it just kind of goes over the chicken wire. So it doesn't poke you or anything that you put in your pocket. Okay, so we'll do that one. And then this one. I just used the napkin to go over it so that as I'm kind of pressing it down, I can, I probably should move this. I can pull away any extra glue that might be on it or that might squish out. Okay. All right, so now we have our pocket with our chicken wire on it. And this can actually even be a belly band. And then we can just put our pocket here on our page. And I'm trying to decide, I think, Okay, I found this glue. It's called Reptile Premium Craft Adhesive. Um, I'll add it to my Amazon list below um, so that you can get it because it's supposed to be the equivalent of art glitter glue, but it's cheaper. So we're going to try it and see if it works as well as the art glitter glue does. So we're just going to go ahead and put some on the edge oh goodness it comes out really fast okay hang on and let me <laughs> yep comes out super fast we might have to put it in a different bottle or get us a tip or something so let me let me do some surgery on my glue here because we don't want to waste so i'm going to try and take some of this glue and just kind of run it this way it's a thinner glue it's thinner than the art glitter glue all right. <laughs> Leave it to me to make a mess, right? Okay. So, we've kind of got glue everywhere, but that's okay. So, I'm just going to kind of run my finger down through there to give us a little bit better of a straight line. And now we'll know to go a little easier when we push our glue out. All right, so I'm not even pressing. Literally, I'm just turning the bottle upside down and just kind of brushing that glue on. Okay, now I want to put some on the very edge of this paper too because I'm hoping that it'll grab good. I've never made one of these pockets, so this is all new to me. So trial and error, right? All right, here we go. We're going to lay our pocket onto our page. I'm going to come back this way a little bit more towards the holes. And we're just going to lay this down in here. And I think what I'm going to want to do with this pocket, in order for it to um, get a good hold, because you know you've got the metal in the way of the glue, so I think what I want to do is take some um, clothespins and put around the edges of it um, on the sides just until the glue dries good. I don't know, though. That glue is doing a really good job. I mean, it's, it's holding on there real good. Nothing's coming up. So I think we're good. Maybe we don't have to do that. Good deal. Okay. Alright, I like it. So now, 
And my little chicken wire's messed up right there, but I guess that's what it's supposed to be. All right, so now we have our sweet, sweet little pocket here. And let me find something to, because I want to decorate on the chicken wire. Hang on a second. Okay. So, I kind of want to make a flower. I have some yo-yos here. These are those vintage yo-yos. And I thought about putting a flower there, but I can't decide if that's what I want to do. So, right now, I'm not going to do anything because it's just not speaking to me. And sometimes that happens. So, I'm going to take that off and I'm going to put my page back in my journal and come back to it. When I'm inspired and can figure out what I want to put on here. I, I kind of want to put some chickens on here. So, I need to find some chickens to put on here. And I don't have any. This was just kind of a fly by the seat of my pants kind of day, I guess. <laughs> so we'll come back in a, at a later time when we're decorating our journal. Because we're going to do some decorating. And put, uh, after I find what I want to put on here. And we'll put them on here. So for now, we're just going to leave that like that. I like it. Um, but it just needs something. I just don't know what at this point in time. So when that happens... You just move on and you come back to it. So that's what we're going to do. So um, let's see. How much time are we at? We're at 26 minutes. I think I'm going to stop the video here. And here's what I think I'm going to do. Because I don't want to bore y'all silly making pockets. So I think what I'm going to do. I'm going to continue making pockets. And continue doing pocket videos. Uh, but I'm not going to put them in this series. I'll, I'll just kind of put them separately so in the next video that you see in this series we're going to start decorating our ring binder journal um yeah we'll start decorating it and adding things to it and kind of try and get it finished up so i don't bore y'all to death so y'all tell me if you have ideas of what you would do with the uh with this pocket in the comments below if you will share your ideas and then in a future video, we'll come back to this pocket and finish it. So, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all are enjoying this series. I hope I'm not boring you with too many of one thing. I know it takes me a while. I it's That's just the way I craft. So, <laughs> thanks for being patient with me. Hope y'all are having a good time. I hope y'all are having a great day. Please like and subscribe. And I love y'all real big. Big hugs.